Temple Beth Tikva is, is clearly home. Uh, I have three children and this really is their second home. They are folks who care about you as an individual, not just as a member of the synagogue. Temple Beth Tikva is much more than a congregation. It's a spiritual home. It's like having an extended family. Uh, I don't know that we've ever been members of a synagogue where uh, this truly is a second home. I joined Temple Beth Tikva because it's a family feeling. They're extended family to me. In the uh, Clear Lake community, we really needed to have a place of worship that was inclusive. It was an opportunity to really make an impact on a community and to have a Jewish environment right around the corner. We joined because it's just such a friendly congregation. We visited whenever they had the chicken soup cook-off and just on a Sunday morning and, uh, and we enjoyed it so much everyone was very friendly. We met, so. we met, we met almost everyone. It seemed like yeah. it was yeah. like we were home. One of the things that we do is our chicken soup cook-off, which a lot of people love that. It's, it's, a, it's a fun way of getting together in, um, in our community. I came to Temple Beth Tikva because they were looking for a spiritual leader. At the same time, I was looking for a new work challenge, and it's been a wonderful match ever since. Temple Beth Tikva is a reform congregation, the only reform congregation in this area, and the reform movement is the most liberal movement of Judaism. We do part of our services in Hebrew, but part in English because we recognize that not everyone speaks Hebrew. It's very interactive. The rabbi often incorporates in her sermons current events and is often asking for feedback during the sermon, so it's, it's really an interactive service. The, the Kai service itself is probably the neatest variation of a, of a Jewish Hebrew service that I've ever been to, and I've been doing this for a lot of years. It's a music service uh, that involves everybody. It's very spiritual. There are songs that are very haunting. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a violin player that often plays with us. So some of the songs are very haunting and very beautiful, and others are just, just wild fun. I mean, it's just right. we're rocking and rolling and getting mm -hmm. up and cheering. And I think my favorite part of TBT is actually the uh, Oneg after the Friday night services because uh, everybody um, brings something, and it's really your chance to see how did everybody's week go. As you're sitting in services, there's large windows behind the bima and you can sometimes see deer walking by or you know there's animals that are out there. One of the most unique aspects I think is in the hall of our religious school we have congregants who bring different Jewish paintings in to hang for a certain amount of time so they can share their art with the rest of our community. Everything that we have has a meaning whether someone who's part of TBT built it for us or it came from somewhere that has history as our stained glass does and that makes it feel that much more special. Beth Tikva is a wonderfully small but powerful congregation. Uh, the strength is the heart of the membership. If I were talking to a potential member about coming to TBT, I would say, do you like to have those around you know your name and know about you and know who you are and care about you? That's what Beth Tikva does. It creates a sense of family from strangers. Everybody's involved in everybody's extended family and, and everybody's welcome. TBT is community and family. Community and family. Community and family. Community and family.